What's going on guys? In today's episode, we are going to be assembling the side plates and the motors. So there are three drive motors in this uh, machine. And what we will be doing is building the side tracks. So the X and Y axis, uh, so that uh, we can get just that much closer to carving. So let's go. Okay, so something just to take note of is when we are assembling these side plates, make sure that you build one to the right and one to the left so that they should be an exact mirror of each other because I almost just messed that up myself and I would imagine I'm going to end up in a world of hurt of having to disassemble everything. Um, and so you want to make sure that your angle is not facing the same way on both pieces because we are building a mirror on each side because one will be on the left track one will be on the right track and so just during assembly make sure that you are keeping that in mind and know which component side you are actually working on Okay, so something else uh, I just noticed and learned. Uh, the short eccentric spacer. Yeah, the little spacer that is right here. Um, it doesn't fit exactly perfect into the hole because of the powder coating. Um, and so just a little bit, uh, the vise is very, very helpful to hold the plate secure while I assembled everything, put in the bearings. But uh, as you cinch down on the nylon screw, it then pulls in the spacer so that everything runs flat. Um, I would highly recommend that you put it in something like a clamp or something like that so that you can hold it secure. Uh, one of the hard parts was getting it to align um, correctly into the hole because you don't want to go at an angle because these are going to be your adjustments uh, later on. So that is something that I checked on and also I made sure to test all my bearings, make sure everything spins freely because if something's cockeyed then this thing is going to get bound up uh, on the tracks and we certainly do not want that in this machine. To the next thing. So look at this. Uh, if you haven't already noticed, in some of the bearings, um, you see the inner washer to the bearing is off center. Uh, when I first saw that, I kind of freaked out. But if you take um, your little Allen tool or something, um, you can move. Right. You can move that inner washer um, so that it sits nice and round and in the center. So don't freak out if your inner washer is not exactly uh, a go-through hole. And if it's a blocking, just take something small and then just move it to the side so that you can continue on your work. All right, pulleys assembled. Everything moves. Everything is tight. I believe the next step is motors. All right, so trick number 18.6. Uh, so there are four bolts holding in the stepper motor 
Um, their top one is the M20, and the bottom one is the uh, M16. So it's a shorter bolt versus the M20. Now, what you have to do is you have to maneuver your wrench in between this pulley and the nut. So you can't actually insert the nut directly on. You have to kind of put it on and then thread it from the back. So again, the vise is very, very helpful. Uh, but what I ended up doing um, was I held it in place with the wrench and then I went from the back side and just slowly uh, twisted it and made it all nice and secure and tight. So now I've done two. Again, the 20 is on top and then the 16 is on bottom. Make sure they're good and secure. And now I got another hole here and another hole here for the 16 and the 20. And I got to do it again. they are both assembled with the stepper motors one thing to keep in mind is when you are assembling them you want to make sure that you are building them correctly and in the correct orientation so the plug the white uh, ribbon plug is going to be facing these three holes so away from the angled piece so you just want to make sure that when you install them it's not down it's not left it's not up it is pointed to the back away from the angle. Well, to get these gantry pulleys in, uh, it's very hard. And I would imagine that if you have larger hands, um, yeah, to where you can't hold the nut that's in there. This is going to be really hard for you. So you're going to might possibly have to come up with some sort of creative solution to get to those nuts right there. So while assembling the gantry, be very mindful of how tight you are making your nuts. Uh, I noticed that on the ones with the spacers, that they were prone to over tightening and the bearings were getting a little bit crushed. And so I had to loosen them a little bit just to make sure that everything slides nice and smooth, just nice to glide. Yeah, because otherwise if you get bound up one of the bearings, then you're going to burn a belt or you're going to throw everything off. And I can only imagine the catastrophic things that might happen. So I had a moment where I was freaking out because the gantry wasn't going on smoothly and was barely moving. Now we got some movement. And so you want to make sure that all your nuts are tight, but not too tight. I know that's very ambiguous. These spacers, all of the spacers um, are adjustable. And so what you do is you put your wrench on the outside and that is why the spacers, the hole is not centered. So the hole was offset and so as you turn it it tightens and loosens um, the bearing against the track the rail track and so it's just a fine tuning process it took me I don't know 15 minutes or so uh, for each side to figure out okay 
I need to have this much tension on this side, this much tension on this side, and there's probably more adjustments to be done as well. Um, but don't freak out. It will go on tightly and then you uh, loosen it, it'll go be smooth. Um, but you want it to where it, it doesn't take hardly any force to move it back and forth. Now, I probably still have some adjustments to do, but from where I was, I couldn't move it at all to now where I can move it back and forth pretty smoothly. Well, here it is. Uh, we were able to get all the assembly of the motors, pulleys, get most of it dialed in and adjusted to where this thing glides pretty smooth. It moves to the left, it moves to the right. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. I'm sure there's still gonna be uh, many more adjustments along the way. Uh, the next components will be uh, securing the risers with L brackets and then installing the Z axis because we have both the X, we have the Y. Oh, it's going to be good. Um, so this thing is almost fully assembled in its hardware components. Um, and then we move on to the wiring and then the computer controls and we go from there. So it's exciting. It's coming together and hopefully it's been helpful. Catch you next time.